Um, my name is Lauren DeLuca and I'm a makeup artist from Brisbane. Um, I've been doing makeup for three to four years um, and I um, probably I've been face painting since I was 14 years old so I've kind of always you know been painting faces for a while. Um, I just thought I'd do a YouTube tutorial on how I do my makeup every day because I've had a few of you or my friends I guess ask me um, will be like you could totally be a YouTuber but <laughs> I don't really want to be I don't think I'm gonna be a YouTuber I don't have the patience for that but I thought it'd be cool just to kind of upload one video or give it a go just so um, I can say I've gained a lot of respect for YouTubers by doing this video um, because it is it is hard, it is really hard to try and like do stuff on your face and like do this to the camera and then also like be looking in the mirror. It is hard. So claps to you guys. And um, yeah, so I just thought I'd give it a go. I'm just in my, this is my makeup studio. I have a makeup studio because my parents are super cool and allowed me to put a makeup studio in their house. And um, yeah, it's decked out with Kmart stuff, which is awesome, but um, yeah, I, I'm i on the floor as well, <laughs> this is how professional I am. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, um, ask me any questions, if you want me to do another one, I'm totally up for it, but if I'm totally boring, that's cool, just let me know, Lauren, stop, just stop doing YouTube videos. I know my brother James will probably <laughs> be laughing at me, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so, thanks! Okay, so what I do first is I spray the Gerolic Herbal Recovery Mist all over my face um, in preparation for my rosehip oil. Um, I usually put my rosehip oil on when I get out of the shower when my face is a little bit wet, um, but if my face isn't wet, that's when I'll spray the mist on my face. I just put a few drops of rosehip oil, um, rub it between my hands to warm it up a bit, and then just put it all over my face. Just, yeah, um, usually massage it into my face and I feel it kind of gets my skin energized and ready for the makeup application I'm about to do as well. Um, but yeah, if you feel like it's a little bit too oily, just add a little bit more water um, and it'll break down the oil for you. Then what I use is the Napoleon Perdes Pre Foundation Primer. Um, I love this product, it's my favorite primer and I just used a pea size amount to put all over my face. And again, I apply it with my fingers because I just think it um, goes all over the face a lot nicer. Um, I love this product. It um, is my favorite primer. And yeah. Um, then the foundation I've been using at the moment is the Stroke of Genius um, foundation from Napoleon Pertis. Um, it's quite a full coverage foundation. Um, and I apply it with the 17S brush, which is half natural, half synthetic. Um, and just in little round motions all over my face from the inside out. I try not to go um, too close up to my eyes um, because this foundation does have a um, SPF of 20 in it. So if you ever got sunscreen in your eyes, you'd know what that feels like and why I don't go up there. Um, I do go a little bit close in this video, but usually I try to stay away while my eyes do start watering. Um, and if you do get watery eyes from your foundation, that's probably why you would. Um, yeah, then I come in with my fingers and just kind of um, blend it out a little bit. Um, I've noticed a lot of the YouTubers use like a beauty blender, which I've never tried, so maybe I should try that. Um, but yeah, I think fingers, because they're nice and warm, so they just kind of um, push the product into your skin a lot nicer and um, gets rid of any brush strokes that are left on your face. Um, then what I do is I come in with my Temp2 Concealer. Um, this is my own personal concealer. I don't use it on my um, clients, so I um, use my fingers to put it on. Um, I use an orange-based concealer as um, it hides any darkness underneath the eyes. Um, as a, What's coming through underneath the eyes is a bluey colour. Um, I don't really like it when people come in, or I don't think it looks that good when people come in with like a really white concealer um, right underneath the eyes because it makes the eyes look a little bit cloudy. Um, so I usually just put a lighter colour just on the tops of my cheekbones just to put a little bit of like a liquid highlight on there. Um, yeah, and it just brightens up the eyes just by putting it in that area there and then through the high points of the face as well. 
so yeah that's my base um so then what i do is i come in with my powder which i usually use the um, napoleon perdez camera finish foundation in g1 um and i just use like a big fluffy brush to put that one on this is just a gorgeous cosmetics brush and i put that on all over my face um just kind of setting like the areas that I'm going to contour and highlight and put blush and then any other areas that may um, get shiny. I don't get that shiny because I've got quite dry skin um, but it is a bit of a hot day so um, yeah. Then I come in with a um, smaller fluffier brush and I just set the areas underneath my eyes and then I'll also set around my nose and around my mouth as well. I find if I um, don't set underneath my eyes I get mascara um, transferring down underneath the eyes um, but if I set them I don't really have that problem um, so this is my um, new palette from NARS it is the NARS um, Stephen Klein pack um, I do think it is a limited edition Christmas um, pack so if you think this looks good um, I'd recommend going and getting it ASAP um, my friend Amy <laughs> suggested I should go and get it and it's really great, love it um, so I'm using the Laguna bronzer um, to do my contouring. Um, and yeah, I go just underneath the cheekbones, not too far um, past the eye and then a little bit in the temples. And then I come in with a smaller brush and go down the sides of my nose. Um, yeah, at first I was kind of like, why should I contour my nose? But after you've had photos with contoured nose, and when after you've contoured your nose, you'll notice a difference. And then that was my um, new NARS Orgasm Illuminating Highlighter. Um, it's a really beautiful product because it's liquid and it does feel a lot more hydrating than if you put a um, powder highlighter on there. Um, I do use a few different highlighters in this video and I guess it's just kind of me showing you different ways you can highlight. Um, and yeah, highlighting seems to be quite in at the moment. It's something my clients keep asking me, like, do you highlight? Do you highlight? And I'm like, of course I do. I'm a makeup artist, but yes. And then, um, when I do my blush, I just put it on the apples of the cheeks and then I work my way up. Um, I kind of find that you my contour is right underneath the cheekbone, so I don't really go up there too much with my blush. Um, and when you blush naturally, you don't blush up there. Um, this is my MAC palette that I made myself in America. It's got a few of my favourite MAC colours in it. I don't remember the name of the one I'm using now, but it's like a light brownie colour. And I use that through the crease of my eye. So I do it with my eye open and just run the brush through the crease of my eye. And um, yeah, just back and forward motions. You can kind of use like any fluffy brush to be honest. This is just like an old gorgeous cosmetics one that I'm using now. Um, and yeah, so... This kind of just starts off, adds a bit of warmth to the um, inside of my eye. Oh, there's something on my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just super basic. If you're just on your way, rush out. Um, sometimes I just do that through my eye, add a bit of shimmer to the lid and I'm done. But I'm just going to um, pump it up a little bit with a bit of more of a red tone um, through the crease of my eye. Um, just to show you how I deepen it up a bit. Um, and if you've got red hair, this is a look that I'm really liking. I've only just kind of gone red again, so I like experimenting with what colours suit the red hair because you can't get away with every colour. Um, and then because I've got blue eyes, any orange toned or red toned eyeshadow usually brings out my eyes quite a lot. And then what I do is I come in with my um, foundation powder and I find that's a really easy way just to blend up the top a little bit more. And then the same colour that I just used through the crease I'll put underneath my eyes just to tie in the top and the bottom. Um, um, I do run this colour nearly right up to the waterline and through the bottom lashes. Oh, put myself in the eye. Um, and yeah, it just kind of gives you that little bit of warmth to the eye um, without going like too much of a darker colour underneath my eye. I never really put like a black underneath my eye unless I'm going out or something like that. Um, now what I'm going to use is my Z palette, um, which I made myself out of Napoleon Perdez colours and gorgeous cosmetic colours. Um, and I'm using the Napoleon Perdez sparkling bubbly colour disc. Um, it's just a beautiful universal colour that I can either use on my really smoky eye to lighten up the inside, but it's kind of like my everyday go-to colour. Um, you can tell by the amount that it's used as well. 
um, and then sometimes I'll just kind of bring it and another way of highlighting just on the um, my tops of my cheekbones um, and yeah that's sometimes I do that if I'm just kind of wanting to run out the door I'll just do my blush contour put that on my eyes and then I'll um, put that on my cheeks and yeah be ready to go um, yeah, so my hair's a bit red and wet, and sorry I didn't <laughs> take time to do it. Um, yeah, so this is my absolute favourite eyeliner. It's the um, Napoleon Perdes Matastic Eyeliner. Every single day I get asked what eyeliner I use, or um, as soon as I tell someone that I'm a makeup artist, they say, oh, I could totally tell because your eyeliner looks so nice. So, yeah, it's probably something that I'm often noticed for having good eyeliner um, and I pretty much do it just by doing small brush strokes along the upper lash line. This um, eyeliner has a really great small thin tip on it um, so yeah it's really easy to um, just do tiny little fine lines and yeah if you try and do one big line at a time it's really easy to stuff up so if you do lots of little lines if you stuff up a little line it's not a big deal. You can probably see me doing it a little bit better on this eye. And I like to do a tiny bit of a flick at the end just because it kind of suits my eye shape and brings my eyes up a little bit as well. And yeah. So the eyeliner is matte as well. So you don't get that shiny black line on top of your eyelid look either. Um, then what I do is I come in with my mascara. This isn't any like special mascara. It's just one that I literally just chucked in my trolley at Woolies when I ran out of my mascara. Um, my favourite mascara is probably the um, Benefit They're Real or the um, MAC Horton Naughty one is pretty cool too. Um, yeah, so I kind of do like a few little coats of mascara just to um, thicken up my lashes a little bit probably one of the things I probably wouldn't leave the house <laughs> without too often is probably just mascara um, and then probably also my eyebrows which I think I am about to do now um, yeah so I usually um, will do my eyebrows with this MAC brow gel which is in the color brunette um, I don't really <laughs> want to do my eyebrows red so I just go for a dark brown color um, and then I just use a really thin brush and come through and do one really nice line underneath my um, eyebrows and then I'll um, come in and do little brush stroke type hairs throughout the rest of my brows and yeah just lots of little lines um, and I just find it really defines it and then I come through with a mascara wand type brush and just brush it through so there's no um, obvious lines through there as well. So now I've done the other brow, I'm going to come in and do my lips. And I'm using the um, lip liner called Mauve Minx from Napoleon Perdes. It's quite a beautiful mauve pinky colour that works for red hair and is an everyday eye lip liner. Um, yeah, so, um, and then after doing my lip liner, I found a um, really cool colour from MAC called Faux. It's very similar to a colour that um, I think Kylie Jenner wears and I'm always getting asked I want the lipstick that Kylie Jenner wears. Um, she's quite popular at the moment. Um, and just before, sorry, I forgot to say that um, I've actually put all of my lipsticks into a palette. So um, all of my matte colours and that are all melted down into a palette. So that's why I had to get it out of there. But yeah, this colour is beautiful. Um, it's a really nice, kind of like a natural lip colour. I guess. And then if I want to add a tiny bit of a shine, I'll come in with um, the a lip gloss. This one's pinky clear kind of colour. And it's just from a Napoleon Christmas pack. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much what I do every single day. Um, yeah. Um, and then sometimes if I want to add like a little bit of extra, I'll come in with a um, white highlighter. And this is probably what I'll do more if I'm going out. And it just adds a like a really nice glow all over my face. And yeah. Um, thank you so much for sitting through that video. Um, let me know what you think. It is the first one I've done, so I don't know what I'm doing really. Um, but I'd love some feedback. And thank you so much for listening. Um, bye.